Tropicana Avenue for one and a half miles. I can't see anything. Hello. Creepers, creepers. I don't like driving at this time of day. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. We're home. Hello, we're back home. Should we do? We're home. Hello. And this is hot and steamy. Cause we're gonna get some tacos. It's Taco Tuesday. Even though it's a Saturday. Yay! Happy Saturday night. I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. I know this is this shouldn't even be all when I'm driving. I don't know. Is that against the rules? Excuse me, it was for a second so I could see where my nails were pushing on the buttons because they were cracking and bending backwards and I don't want to break three nails after I already broke two of them trying to get the freaking thing out of the pickle jar. And then I lost my nail and had to get replaced with their prosthetics. Don't look at me, lady. Don't look at me, lady. None of y'all. Don't look at me. Click the link below to follow my Patreon. You'll get exclusive weekly videos about my life, plus tons of mukbangs not allowed on YouTube. Link below. Sheepers, creepers. Peter Piper, Baker Pepper. Oh, I don't like driving this time of night. Everyone, oh, we want to see you out and about. Well, now you're seeing me out and about, and I don't like it. Oh, watch where you're going, road hog. Anyways, today I was really, uh, oh, everybody, excuse me, hello, oh, sheepers. I was craving some tacos, I'm craving some Mexican, I'm, 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 I'm craving like a lot of them, like a lot of soft tacos, I'm craving crunchy tacos, I'm craving guacamole, I'm gonna get two, two large guacamoles down in the front, and it better be good quality guacamole. So we're gonna go to Del Taco, because we don't really do that that often. <laughs> Let's be real, you guys. It's not as popular as the Taco Bell. However, it's very fresh. It's bare proportions. And they have some nice cheese. Oh. Ah! <laughs> it's your fault. I'm trying to drive this vehicle. Shine bright like a diamond. I love cheese. Dun -dun. Oh. You're going too fast. We're at the Del Talk. I know where we are, lady. Be quiet. You're gonna make me crash this car. And they better have everything that I need to survive because I need to eat to survive. Thank you. Ah, uh, criminy, criminy, crickets. We're at the Del Taco. Oh, why are they backing up? What are they doing? Hello. I'm recording you. That looks like an old man person, but sometimes the toothless people drive that too. Sesame seed buns, seeds, oh, that says tamale seeds, oh my god, I'm like, I can't read, we in Vietnam, oh my gosh, I saw this thing recommended to me on YouTube, it was called the Vietnamese Brawl at the nail salon. Now they held their own, listen, I have to agree, agree with the majority. The majority of people viewing this, this just yet, it went viral. It was in Brooklyn, New York, I believe. It was um, not that long ago, maybe a couple years ago. And it went viral because it was like this big old like, like, oh, ew, there's a lot of people walking with, let me lock these, extra lock these doors. Look at all these ladies, look like, where's she going? Where's that lady going? Get in a car. Anyways, I have to agree with the majority of commenters. If you show up knowing that you don't have the money to pay for it, and these people are overworked, working 12 hours a day, seven hours a day, trying to run their business, they came here for a better life and they're running their business, and you go in there with not only not a bit able to pay them for all their work, but you give them attitude, and then you give them this little lie, well, it wasn't done good enough, so what? then leave a bad review, but they gave you your time, the nails are done, whether they're your per perfection, that's just a, just a lie. I'm sure the nails were great. And so then they tried leaving without paying, and, and then they started destroying all the property, like just making a ruckus and like touching things that didn't belong to them. 
And then you have, okay, unfortunately, I don't even know how to say this for YouTube, because YouTube's very, like, polarizing these days. Unfortunately, some people try to make it into something that it wasn't, because, let's say, <laughs> what do I always say? So many people are eternal victims, victim card, excuse me, excuse me. You know dang well if the roles were, were reversed and you had given fit, uh, 60 minutes of your time scrubbing those cranky, nasty old toes. Everyone's toes are nasty. If you're scrubbing toes and doing nails and you were on your knees and working for 60 minutes, 50 minutes, and then they didn't pay you, if the roles were reversed, you wouldn't be crying, oh, bo, 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 like victim, no. But what really got me... What is this lady doing? Is this a bus stop? Oh my god, jeepers. What really got me, like, actually kind of angry is because the, I don't want to say, but certain people that reported on it with the microphone, oh, this didn't show the full clip or didn't show the more important clips of how it started, didn't explain why it started, just to fuel people to be extra angrier. It's honestly, I, I say to myself, how is this real life? How is this the world right now? Where we're just lied to and then people believe it because they see it and they don't stop and think for themselves. Everyone just wants to be a victim. $5.99! You know what? This card here is maxed out but I won't tell them. We'll see what happens. <laughs> <sighs> Anyways, five ninety nine, and they need to have a better. Oh, here we go. It's my turn. Thank you. I want some fresh guacamole, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. What are those tamales? Ew. No, I'm a tacos. Oh, you know what they had last time? The honey chicken. Oh, that was so good. Um, let's see here. Taco. Do they have like a party pack? I just want like a bunch, like a ton. Oh, Fiesta packs. Here we go. Six values, six bean burritos. Oh, no, 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 no. I want the Del Tacos. Yes, please. Hello, I'm going to do two uh, large... <laughs> Oh no. Okay. I was literally about to order guac, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna do the Del Taco Fiesta pack. How many does that come with? Okay, so I'm gonna do all hard, please. Can I swap those out for a <laughs> What Taco Bell does. Okay. Okay, well then I'm gonna do 12 Del Tacos, please. Uh, soft. Uh, excuse me, hard and soft, so half and half. Yeah, half soft and half hard. So six and six. Yes, please. Two, um, two deluxe chili cheddar fries. Cheddar spicy jack quesadilla. And do you still have the honey chicken tacos? Oh, you do? Okay, then I'll have two of those, please. And, um, a large water. Yes, please. That's fine. Trick or treat, trick or treat. Give me something good to eat, please. You guys, that was a little interesting. So as you can see, I'm no longer at the Del Taco. <gasps> I'm here at Jack in the Box now. I have Del Taco here in the car. But that was really weird because <sighs> over the speaker, I was just like, hi, can I have the carry? Uh, I, I said, I want the Fiesta thing and they don't do, they won't alternate or substitute. So it has to be burritos. Now you guys know I don't really want bean burritos. Ugh. So I said, I'll just, and they said, oh, it'd be cheaper if you just buy all the tacos individually, but we'll still give you the case. I'm like, oh, okay, that's great. So, um, at least that's what I thought I heard. They'll give me the case because I really want something to hold up here and it's easier to carry back into the building. So, and then I pull up, I give him the card. I say, can I have the receipt? He, please. He goes, yeah, I'll give it to you. And then they don't give it to me. And then they give me these two little, these two little bags here. And I'm like, where's the receipt? They're like, oh, it's in one of the bags. I'm like, oh, okay. So I'm not driving away. I know there's a long line. I'm going to check. Okay. Cause I don't even order that much stuff, but I like to get the receipt when they hand me my card so I can sit here and process in my brain, especially if I order like a bunch of things I like to know. So I'm real quick and efficient for them when they hand me my food. I already have memorized cause I've been sitting here waiting with my receipt, you know, 10 tacos, two sides, one chips, one cheese fry, whatever, cheese quesadilla. And so when I get my food, I already have in my head, okay, there's 12 items in total. Eyeball it, one, two, three. Well, they shove them into these little bags. I can't like, 
there's like layers. It's like a tear cake for a wedding. So I can't see what's down there without pulling it out, which I'm not gonna do. And I ordered two cheese fries. I said that on the recorder. And they're like, oh yeah, well it's in there. And I see one, I'm like, where's the other? Anyways, I'm, I just don't think this is enough food to survive. Oh my God, I got a cameo. Someone just booked. Two large curly fries, please. Large chili cheese fries. Do you have the $3 chili cheese fries? Oh, you don't have them anymore? Oh, okay. Um, I'm also going to do, give me a second here. I'm gonna do one hash brown, please. Okay, so anyways, and then I just felt like the guy wasn't with it. I'm like, hello, hello. And then he's just like, oh, it's in there. And I'm like, like, it is stuffed. You know what? Do, know who does this to Taco Bell? They'll stuff 15 tacos on top of each other. And Taco Bell's very famous for this. Makes me so upset. And so I, in my head, said I ordered two. Well, I know I voc vocalized it. I ordered two chili cheese fries. I only see one container. So I'm looking, I'm looking. And then a the girl's behind him. She's like, oh, I got it. I got it. And then she reaches out and hands me this. She goes, it's on us. I bagged everything myself, but I wanted you, I wanted you to have this. And she had like these big bright eyes. I'm like, well, thank you. Oh, okay. Well, thanks. Okay. <laughs> so I got an extra chili cheese fries. Um, even though I thought I ordered two, but you know, sometimes this is why I like doing things on the app because there's no like, did, uh, did you say this? I can't hear you. There's like loss in translation. The speaker doesn't work well. Maybe they can't hear me. The mask, blah, 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 you know? So that's why I like the app because it comes on their screen and they can see all the things. But anyways, I still think that's not enough. Does that look like enough food for a mukbang? Yes or no? I think the answer is no. So that's why I just ordered some Jack in the Box. Two large fries and a hash brown. Is that enough food? Maybe I should have gotten something. I really wanted the cheese. Oh, I should have gotten the tacos. I could have compared Jack in the Box tacos to these tacos. That would have been epic. See, there's my total, $8. Eight. Dollars. That's an hour of working someplace for some French fries and a hash brown. One hash brown. You can. Oh. This country's going down the tubes. You know, if I ever run for president, which I am thinking of doing, because I am very smart, smarter than you think. Food for free for everybody. Everybody eats until their heart's content for free. An hour of working for one hash brown and some fries. And don't say, oh, well, they're large. They're, let, I'll be real here. Jack in the box, the, the width of them is very skimpy. I, oh, I have to do an Arby's versus Jack in the box. We're going to do it in the car, hot and steamy. Where's the nearest Arby's? Let's look it up. Okay, goodbye. I'll see. I don't like driving at night, but I had no choice because I was running late with all my things I had to do. And I woke up late. And also, the sun is down here at like 4 o'clock. I need to start waking up at like five then, but the sun doesn't come up till six. I like to get up right when the sun comes up, but I slept until 12. So I'm like six hours behind my schedule. So anyways, I had to do it cause I would, I would starve. So I'll see y'all when we get back to the hotel. Goodbye. Cheapers, creepers. No room in this place. Anyways, hi, shine bright like a diamond. Shining bright up is this this is still probably not enough food. Am I missing a bag? They <sighs> Anyways, you guys, we got my curly fries from Jack in the Box. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is my sixth or seventh time eating at Jack in the Box. And I've only been here in Las Vegas for how long? How long? Two weeks, so I've, I've eaten at Jack and Box every other day. That's the, that's the statistic. <gasps> and I got a hash brown. Um, nom, 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 nom. Oh, it's so greasy. Um, nom, nom. Oh, those are so good. Lots of sauces. Even though I thought that I had some leftover teriyaki, but I don't. Here's the free French fries, which better be good. Everything tastes better when it's free. That's for sure. Shout out to the nice lady. I, did she had to have recognized me? She's just being nice, so I don't call her. Cause no, no one's giving out free food in this economy. No, they're not. People are not giving out free food. Oh my gosh! So we got some mild sauce. We got some hot sauce. 
So Taco Bell has five, four levels. They have mild, fire, hot, and Diablo. Oh, uh, shh. Diablo is the really, uh, Diablo something. Good thing. I, again, it's very impossible to check and everything. That's all the sauces. I ordered 12, 50. Here's the check. They, I'm telling you, that's all the sauce I get for 15 tacos. Okay, okay, okay. I'm angry. Get out the way. I have to eat you. Oh, you guys are wearing long sleeves. I'm waiting for my Nikocado merch. I ordered some nice hoodies from my own website. Yay. They're not here yet. It's trying to get a little crispy, hot, uh, cold. So they mean to tell me that all everything else is missing. This is still not enough food. They mean to tell me that everything that is in here, we'll find out. There should be 15. No, excuse me. Six plus six plus two. So 12, 13, there should be 14 in total. Here's one. Where's, I, I ordered chicken ones. Are these the chicken ones? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, thank goodness. See, they're smashed here down at the bottom. My chicken honey tacos, which are very worth the price. So, okay, so we got 14 tacos. Is this enough? Food. I'm kind of sad because they didn't have guacamole. I wanted guacamole and chips. And this is what I get for, it's actually your people's fault because you wanted a video from me that I had to edit and it, it's very hard to keep up. I spent, I spent two hours designing my thumbnail yesterday. With the stupid cheese pools in the car, with that pizza, it took two hours. That's like five photos put together. It took forever with the lighting and oh my God. It's also because I'm a perfectionist. Okay, you guys, let's make this all pretty. Here we go. One, two, three, bam. I can't even display everything. I have my chicken taco down over here. Oh my gosh, I have my cheese quesadilla. Let's start with the cheese quesadilla. Ooh. Cheers. I'm back home. Hey, should do. All right, let's try this. This is so good. This is called the Pepper Jack. The pepper. It's a little spicy, but it's so good. That is some good cheese. Click the link below and get yourself a cameo where I'll make a special video just for you. Treat yourself or surprise someone else. It makes a great gift. Link below. That, that pepper jack cheese because it is so good. Curly fries. The best of the best. Now, I don't like, sorry about my Crisco. Crisco is cooking. I'm not sponsored, but I'm using it as like a little prop to keep my, these, shout out to Chick-fil-A for making great um, containers for the fries that have flat bottoms so that mukbangers like me can display them nicely. Every other place, it's a struggle. Mm. Mm. Have you ever had a Jack in the Box curly fry? It is so delicious. Mmm. Both of them. Mmm. That is delicious. Delicious.
Oh my God, there's so much food here. Um, let's do what I have back here first because, oh, here we go. This here is the um, kind of newish. It's a sweet chicken. It's called the Honey Sweet Chicken Taco. I think it's called honey. It's like a chicken tender, very soft with cheddar cheese and lettuce. And that sauce, did I say that? Yeah, I did. <clears throat> if a Slurpee was a, you guys, I have to admit something to you. I have been craving sweets lately. I think I'm under eating. I think I'm losing weight coming here. I was used to oil doing so much for me. This is so good. I'm craving like donuts. And last night I was craving dark chocolate. You guys know I never eat sweets. I never eat them. I never think about them. I was laying in bed and I was imagining some dark chocolate and some peanut butter chocolate milkshake. What is happening to me? I'm sorry. I'm chewing like a cow. Also, when I, this man was a little funny. Maybe, I think he was training because the lady was also, it was like two people on the walkie talkie. So when I pulled up to uh, <clears throat> Del Taco, a man answered, but a woman kept on chiming in. Actually, no, we actually had that. Oh, actually, no, before you make your order, I just want to say we don't have guacamole. And the guy's okay, do you want this? Uh, I don't know if we can do that. She's like, yes, we can. You know, she was kind of like, I think he was training. <clears throat> Let's try these cheese fries. They forgot a fork is what I'm trying to say. <sighs> All right, these cheese fries look pretty epic. It has sour cream. These are not ch chill, these are chili cheese fries. Oh my God. How much big of a bite do I need? A lot. Cheers. Oh my God, I look so cute today. Cheers. Ooh. Oh, and I love that sour cream. I'm chewing like a cow today. Please excuse me. This is really, I'm telling you, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Mmm. Okay, the mo. Very tasty. Okay, now I'm gonna try. I have to say, their hard tacos, they don't fall apart so easily. They feel like it's a little bit, I don't know if it's thicker, but it's definitely a harder shell, hard shell. Taco Bell, you pick it up and it starts disintegrating. So. Mmm. Ooh. I love being fat. Love it. Okay, that's uh, mm, their cheddar cheese. Is very good. Okay, now it's finally breaking. That's pretty amazing. See how my meal is coming apart. Taco Bell, you take one bite of that thing and it's taco salad. It just disintegrates. Mmm. Very good. Yeah, the um the actual shell tastes harder. It tastes harder. Taco Bell's is so flimsy. <clears throat> Alright, let's do a soft taco. 
the moment of truth. The moment, let's get rid of this. This is so, I keep looking at the Crisco. I'm like, that's what my blood looks like and I'm a little triggered. Let's just put this here now that we have some room. Thank you. Is this enough food? All right, so we're gonna do a soft taco. Look at this display. And then I wanna try their sauces. Oh wait, first let's do my hash brown. First one, ooh, here's my hash brown. It's still this little package thing. Oh yeah. Oh no, I ripped it. No. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna save it for that hot. Mm -hmm. That is so greasy. The bag, I kind of ripped it open, but then I'm all over the place. You guys. Okay, one thing about this place, they really, really stuff their tacos. I mean, like that is just like stuffed to the max. Can you see? This is stuffed to the max. Max capacity, as my friend Hungry Fat Chick says. You guys, I'm shaking. That's how hungry I am. I'm like quivering. Oh my God. Oh my God. <clears throat> I have to say, I like Taco Bell meat flavor more, but the amount of ingredients, the quant, the, it also has this very fresh, it might be a tie actually. That is so good. Mmm. All right, let's try their hot sauces. Let's see what these hot. Let's see what these are like. So we got some mild sauce down over here. We're gonna put that onto my. This is neutral. Jimmy Neutron. Did you guys watch that? I just came to my mind. Okay, this is mild sauce. Mmm. And where's the hot? Here's the hot sauce. They only have two sauces to choose from at Del Taco. Sometimes simpler is better. Less choices means you, you pick it faster than not holding up a conga line. <clears throat> and also less wasteful. I say, I give me all the sauces and I only use three of them. Or excuse me, like one. I like, you guys know my favorites of the hot. This is the hot sauce. Ooh. The hot sauce is thick and paste-like. So that's what separates a Taco Bell's Sauces are kind of liquidy, salsa-like. This reminds me more of a pit. Actually, no, it's kind of, this is, I, this is spicier than Taco Bell's fire sauce. This is more like the, the Diablo, Di, Diablo de Wow. Their hottest one, Diablo. The black one, the Taco Bell hottest one, this is, I think, still spicier. Yeah, my tongue would remember. Taco Bell don't do this to me. Whew. <clears throat> okay, now I know. I'm sweating. Their hot sauce means hot. Like they're not joking around. Mm. Cheese quesadilla. Okay, you guys, so, um, I have to be honest, <clears throat> my videos, my posting schedule, my videos on this channel have, feel, have felt very frantic. When you move, it's very difficult. <clears throat> and I just wanna apologize. I've taken more days off this past two weeks than I have in like over two years, <clears throat> at least, probably four years. I'm a, I'm a machine, I never stop. You guys, that hot sauce, it says Inferno. 
okay, this this is this is I can't have any more. It's gonna it's gonna mask the flavor. It's gonna be too much. <clears throat> That's something you do at the end. Like a woo. The mild's good though. Okay, the hot sauce is good. It's just it's. Mm. It's hotter than I would like. This cheese quesadilla is so good. Mmm. Mmm. So flaky, so it's like buttery. Very cheesy, like very cheesy. Anyway, I'm sorry, my life has been very crazy behind the scenes. I got very ill, <clears throat> which I tried explaining to you yesterday while eating that pizza. <clears throat> I ended up having a big meltdown in the car. After the pizza, I recorded it, but I didn't post it. <clears throat> if you noticed, yesterday's video was kind of shorter. It was only like 30 minutes. There was part two. I started breaking down, sobbing, to thinking about so many things, <clears throat> and it just kept rolling. And I was like beat red in the face. I looked like a tomato. <clears throat> like, And I was watching it. I'm like, I don't know if I, this is really, it's like one of those like real bad breakdowns. And I didn't post it. I could. Maybe. Maybe my other channel. Just to throw it up on there. Just not. To, I don't want to ruin the vibe here. Because I also feel like, again. My life has been so frantic lately. Mmm. With adjusting and stuff. That... <clears throat> I skipped days, and then I was sick for over three days. Over three days, you guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Actually, about three days exactly. Um, something like, it's all a blur. All I know is that I was very, very like I had never felt like that in years. And I'll stop right there. I'm like the cookie monster of these. I love these french fries. Our perfection. Next, these tacos are also very enjoyable. <clears throat> Let's do it. Look at this. Oh. Mm. I'm like two, two at once. Okay, I'm saying right now, these taste better than Taco Bell. The soft tacos, I like slightly more at Taco Bell, but you definitely get your money's worth here. It's, it's very close, but these taste better than Taco Bell. I mean, I've never, ever in the history of my existence I've ever been able to eat a whole hard shell Taco Bell like this without it falling apart. Man, that's good. So I ate, okay, let's do this one now. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
We're going back to the chicken one. That sweet. Oh my gosh. Mmm. That is so, it could use a dash of mild. Oh my God, look at all these ingredients. A Ooh, a very, oh, a small amount. I just want to taste a little spice with the sweet. But yeah, you guys, <clears throat> now you know me, I haven't done donuts on this channel ever. And this channel, which is so crazy to think about, I've only had for two years. <laughs> We've never done a donut mukbang, and I'm really, I'm craving my first donut mukbang. Hmm. Oh my God, this is so good, everybody. This meal is so good. Look at these tacos. They are, so, I'm still shaking, you guys. I'm really hungry. Hmm. By the way, maybe one of the reasons I like these more than Taco Bell is because I kind of cheated. I put Farmer Boy's Ranch and I cut up a very small, fresh, sweet pepper that got delivered from Whole Foods. Fancy. Um, I sprinkled it on top. So it's, those two ingredients weren't here, but I'm just talking about the meat, the cheese, and the quality of the shell. It's still better than Taco Bell. Okay, I like Taco Bell seasoning of their meat. But the shell makes all the difference. Mm -mm. I, I also want to thank you guys too. Um, for still being here, I put myself under so much pressure, and just willingly. I'm just like, hey you, I'm cracking the whip on you all day long till you go to back to bed. That's just what I say to myself with everything in my life. Um, excuse me, I'm doing stuff off camera. I'm, um, I'm just, I'm very hard on myself. I give myself a lot of things to worry about. And um, I still manage to put out an entire production every day. And um, I'm just like, like I said, these past two weeks, I take, I take in some days off. <clears throat> and I'm still catching my breath. And I'm saying, how have I gone this long without a break. Like a vacation. Hey guys, I'm gonna take a week or two, I'm gonna do two weeks off and spend time with my family. Nope, never happened. I think part of it is I just tell myself, oh, it's no big deal. You have to eat every day anyway. Mm. Well, I also tried ordering, well, I don't know if I'm gonna show it in the drive-thru part, but I went to Jack in the Box and I asked if they had the chili cheese fries. <clears throat> they said no, but I do remember them tasting uh, definitely more spicier and way more seasons because it's on the curly fries this is more of a neutral flavor that I think I really like 
Brace, brace, up. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm holding onto the table. I'm literally clutching it like this. Please don't be anything else other than air. Anyways, let's go back to these tacos. Mmm. These look so good. Because they are. <laughs> mm. I hope you've been liking all the videos, though. Oh man, this is so good. Mmm. Another soft taco. I have three more. <clears throat> they're just they're not all fit, you know. I'm really eating too. Wow. I'm eating like I'm not I'm never gonna eat again. <laughs> I lose a tooth. At least my teeth look nice. Invisalign. Mm. It looks like I've barely eaten. You guys, I ate two chicken tacos. I ate <clears throat> an entire cheese quesadilla. That alone. It's like a thousand calories. Those those three things combined. Excuse me. So I am working on. Excuse me. I am working on. Ah. Calorie rank number three thousand. <clears throat> Excuse me. These are so. So good. I used to always tell everyone that Checkers was my favorite French fry. I take it back. Checkers is good. It's seasoned. It's flavorful, but it's too salty. Sometimes too much salt ruins it. Oh, brace! 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 Oh no! Oh no! Oh god. Silent. Silent toot. Okay. I I never know what it's going to be. You never know. Anyways, like I was saying, I just can't get I can't get down with checkers anymore because it's too salty. And too much salt can really ruin it. Also, no matter where I go, it's usually not a nice time interacting with the people at are attracted to working there. I don't like saying that. <sighs> Brings me no joy to report that to you, but in my life, in my experiences, every checkers has had the nastiest workers. Every single one. Everyone. They really have. Oh my gosh. Did you hear about Britney Spears? 
I don't like to talk about the news or current events, especially politics. I mean, I'm aware of stuff. I know about the hearings that are, are over now, and I'm hoping that there's no... hope people can just not make it worse. Because I know people are very passionate about being upset and... <coughs> Excuse me, and happy. <clears throat> gosh, I'm like tiptoeing here, oh gosh. I'm, I'm aware, I'm aware. I'm aware that there's people here and here. <laughs> um, and all I, all I say as a human, I just hope that we're not gonna hurt each other. That's all. Please don't. <laughs> Let's not make it worse. Anyway, um, I'm just like, oh God, I changed the subject. Um, Cause I'm not saying my opinion about anything really. Um, I, n I never do, cause I know people come to my channel to escape the reality. Well, another thing that I try not to talk too much about is like pop culture. Unfortunately, the most things that people care about are rap spoken word, you know, and sometimes music, but mostly rap spoken word. And, um, rhythmic noise. But Britney Spears is in the news, and I, I'm very happy for her. Y'all know. It's kind of, I mean, I think it probably had its place at first. Maybe. I don't know. But regardless of whether it was needed or helpful in the beginning, because let's be real, some things you scale back. Um, that's how you snap out of it and you kind of improve. But did it need to last 13 years? Oh my God. 13, 14, how many years was it? 15? It's so many years. Gosh, I think I've only been doing these mukbangs daily for three years and it feels like an eternity. I can't imagine over a decade. I can't drive a car, can't pay her bills, can't hold physical ca cash, can't buy herself candles, like she says. Oh, and then I saw uh, all these candle companies are trying to organize care packages for her. It's so cute. <laughs> um, but that's good news, right? I just think, Shoot, uh, there, I can't think of anything that would justify that amount of time. Like I said, some, some people need, need a little guidance. And I, I have heard all the arguments too. Well, if she was a man, that wouldn't have happened. Well, probably true. Well, if she was this per this country, that wouldn't have happened. You know, probably, but all I'm saying is, sometimes people do things that seem extreme, but have good intentions. And sometimes those good intentions can then get s twisted down the road into being like, oh, now you're just being greedy and gotta kind of control her. It c I don't know. And I don't think really anyone know. Well, I think she even said herself, like, it was, it was one thing for, like, you know, a couple months <laughs> to help me get on my feet or psychiatric help or whatever. But anyways, all I'm trying to say is I'm just really happy for her. That's really nice. Um, when I lived in Colombia for all those years, I never drove. Because I was afraid if something happens or there's an accident, like I don't speak the language to even communicate for help, or so I never did it. And that's something I miss so badly, just driving. And she, wait, can she drive? I forget. Well, she can't do it without guardian or something. something. I don't know, I don't remember, whatever. Oh yeah, I saw her Instagram post. She said she likes Bentley cars. That's the same brand uh, Be Loves Life has, right? Yeah. I'm not really into cars. <clears throat> I mean, I can appreciate an attractive car, but like the labels and stuff, I... Um, it doesn't mean anything to me. Most people buy labels because it means something to others when they look at you, right? If no one th ranked it in their heads, a, a value, a tier system, like this is important. Bentley's above Mercedes, Mercedes is above Tesla, Ferrari's above, but I mean, I guess I do know cars a little bit, but that's obviously not the right ranking. But <clears throat> I know of the brands, but it's, if no one, 
had laid any import importance on it, would you still get it? Half the people probably wouldn't. <laughs> so it's really about what others are perceiving you as having. Oh, she has this. Oh, he has this. Which is good. For, I mean, it feels it feels good. To f oh, brace, brace, brace. <gasps> Um, like I was saying, it feels good to feel desired. That's a feeling that is great. It feels so good to know that other people look up to you or you have something they want. It's, it feel, it's a satisfaction. But you also have to find a balance with it too, I think. You can't just, your whole life can't be about pleasing others. But I think also not caring what other people think can be very bad too. Like you let your house become a mess or something. You should care a little bit. You have a guest over. There should be a balance, I think. Oh my God. Have I eaten enough food? I mean this seriously, this is my only meal today. And I hate eating one meal a day. I was just so busy today. Half the things I can't even talk about. Can't talk about what I was doing, but it was so busy. And again, I'm a perfectionist, so I like think about it and fix it and dwell in it and make suggestions and like boom and two hours goes by i'm like really i just spent two hours thinking and looking and observing and it was like four different things added like this person and this person and this thing and this thing i really ate strongly today in this video Hmm. Oh, Britney Spears. I had a poster of her on my wall. Her with a Pepsi bottle. I think I bought it from McDonald's. McDonald's had an exclusive CD of Britney Spears and NSYNC. Oh. Those were the days. You know, music, melodies, harmonies. Not rap spoken word rhythmic speaking. Ugh. It's so, honestly, I made a video um, on my second channel. It was actually the video where I was like reacting to Meat Canyon, which I did a little bit, but then towards the end of the video, I'll get very heated about the Travis Scab situation. And I'm like, do you realize it's, n it's the media also McDonald's saying, oh yeah, let's this let's give him his own little precious meal to market to kids. Like this person singing about hurting people, stealing stuff, breaking stuff, misogynist, like doing <clears throat> doing more <clears throat> being greedy. And we're gonna it's just makes me so upset and it's not even music it's not music it's missing melodic phrases it's th that's not the definition of music it's spoken rhythmic speaking it's it's noise it's just noise sorry noise that also brings our society down great two bad things put together <clears throat> anyway um but yeah back when i was a kid i did not have to grew up going to McDonald's to get the Travis Scabs box and be like, Mom, who's that? And she'd be like, okay, here, I'll play it for you. What you think? Horrible parents, huh? <sighs> but when I was a kid, um, I got NSYNC CD. Bye, 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 bye. And I got Huku. I loved Huku. Oh. Got the Huku CD. 
she was on Disney Channel. That's all, oh, I can't sing it. Copyright. But I love the lyrics. I mean, could you imagine if, if rap's, uh, rap spoken rhythmic word went like this? That's all right, that's okay. You didn't love me anyway. But I think it's time for us to move, to just move on. Wow, that's actual female empowerment. Not this bull crap that people try to tell me in my comments. Oh, you know, that's about female empowerment. You're just, no, 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 no. You're demented and twisted. That, those lyrics, Cardi and stuff, that's not female empowerment at all. Hmm. I know people are probably sick of me talking about this, but I'm very, it's like one thing I'm very passionate about that I can say onto YouTube because it's not political. I'm just so, it, it disgusts me. It makes me physically sick. But anyways, at McDonald's I got the Britney Spears CD. Um, and yes, a lot of songs are about love and breakups and this and that, but Let's, uh, apples to peaches, that's not vulgar. I mean, some can be, but most aren't. And it's also still music, so. Um, anyways. Apparently she's shaded. Brittany is shading people now. Her family, some other contemporaries, you know, who, are, like, who was around her time. Jessica said, no, Christina Aguilera. No, I don't know for certain. I saw a title and I didn't click it, but I should actually, but something about her shading Christina Aguilera for not being there for her or speaking up. It's tough because I don't, um, when you're in the music industry, I mean, okay, let's hypothetically, Chris, I, I don't, I'm not a Christina Aguilera. Stan, I can't even tell you what the last thing she's singing. Is she even still making music? I really don't know. So I'm not saying like defending her. I'm just saying, I'm just playing devil's advocate in my head thinking, say this individual knew that she was in this conservatorship and uh, knew that she wasn't allowed to buy candles or have cash. Is it her job to go to the press and talk about it? I mean, I know a lot of people, when they get that high up, they start signing NDAs for every friendship, every relationship or, um, you don't want to be the person with the bit. I don't know. I just feel like there's a lot of pressure coming from different. Oh, you're working with this label. Well, they don't want you spilling beans on this because they have a thing with this person. Well, this label's over here and you have, it's hard. I don't know who's the responsible for Brittany's family, but it's like, oh, she didn't do, she could have. Yeah, well, so could have probably dozens of others. Are they all going to get caught out too? I don't know, it makes me think of the whole, uh, you know, I can get married now, you know what I'm talking about? <coughs> I can get married, okay? Think about the times, that whole area, that whole situation. Well, there are a lot of uh, leaders, politicians, who were very hesitant to say they support it. They had to wait for more people to do it, and then it just snowballed. And people were like, well, you said you weren't, and now you are. It's like, I know, but sometimes you need something to start it for it to snowball. And the Free Britney movement, I think, is what started the snowball. I'm so full, yet I'm shoving more in, I know. Oh, I feel good. Happy day for Britney Spears. I wonder what she's gonna do now. Well, thank you everyone for watching this video. You can tell that I I really like the, the hard shell. The most. Click the link below and get yourself a cameo where I'll make a special video just for you. Treat yourself or surprise someone else. It makes a great gift. Link below.